Grace had a special meaning for the Berg family. Their teenage daughter was killed last winter in Campbellsport in a car crash. Todd Hicks spoke with the family new at five. Well, thousands of runners taking part in this rock and soul run. Two of them, the family of Katie Berg, who was killed in that accident earlier this year, a team of several people turning out today to support all three girls. It was these shirts that stood out among thousands of runners, one with Katie Berg's picture, a team killed in a horrific car accident last February. Our hearts ache every second of the day. Berg was one of three killed when a classmate lost control on a country road. Nine girls piled in the SUV for a fun night out. Police say they were driving at more than 100 miles per hour before the crash. Today's run in her memory, very emotional for family and friends. As I walked across the Horn Bridge and you see the beauty out there, we just can't imagine what she's seeing right now. Bonnie Berg tells me it's been rough, but the other two families who also lost a child that night have helped her through. We get together a lot. We support each other. Um, if one of us is down, we lift each, try to lift each other up. Support also coming from Berg's boyfriend who hugged Katie's father after he finished the race. Just want them all to know that we came out to run for them and just that they're in our hearts forever. Now the Berg family tells me they had already planned to take part in this event and they didn't want to cancel in memory of their daughter Katie Berg. On your side reporting from the Summerfest grounds, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4.